Hi, I'm Greg Geske with The Waterist Company. I'm the Global Director of Sales and Marketing for Waterist, and I've been uh, with Waterist for 30 years. Today we're going to talk about uh, foam systems, in particular our uh, Aquas foam system, which can be used for Class A and B foams. Um, water has been used for many years for extinguishing fires, but there's some problems with water in that there's a high surface tension uh, of the water. As we try to put out a fire, we of course use the water to absorb heat, and it's the surface area of the water that absorbs that heat. If we spray water in high into the room where the heat is uh, concentrated high in the room, only about 10% of the water gets used and about 90% of that water uh, runs down the walls or vertical surfaces back down to the floor and then out of the room uh, that has the fire. So by using Class A foam, what we do is uh, we use a surfactant inside that foam and that breaks down the surface tension. So um, fighting fire with plain water is like fighting fire with beach balls where we're throwing beach balls at the fire. By adding Class A foam to it, we break down the surface tension, we break down the, uh, the water into smaller droplets and it's like fighting fires with soccer balls now. There's more surface area that the uh, water can, uh, it's still the water that actually absorbs the heat but it increases the surface area of the of the water and the other part of it is in class a foams we have a foaming agent that actually makes bubbles so it allows that water to stick to vertical surfaces and to ceilings so that it keeps the water up there longer so that it can absorb heat longer also um, we have three different systems that water us uh, within our aquas line we have a one and a half gallon per minute a three gallon per minute and a six gallon per minute primarily the uh, 1.5 is only used for class a foams the three and six can be used with class A and class B foams. Um, if you're running a, a, an Aquas 3, for example, um, at 3% with class B foam, you have to keep in mind that you can only treat 100 gallons per minute of flow. And with a six gallon per minute system at 3%, we'd only be able to treat 200 gallons per minute of foam. So uh, they can be used for A and B primarily because 99% of our, our fires uh, within fire departments are class A fires. Um, most of the systems are class A systems. Um, we do have the ability to run an A and B system though with the Aquas 3 and 6. So um, nowadays, uh, foam system can, can be very easy to use. We'll be going out to the pump panel and then I'll be showing you how to use the system, how to operate it, flush it afterwards and, and maintain the system. Years ago when we used eductors we had to match up the 90 GPM eductor with the 90 GPM nozzle and we had to have our pressures uh, all accurate. Nowadays it's as simple as engaging the pump. We can have the system actually come on automatically with pump engagement. All we have to do then is pull one of our foam capable lines and flow uh, water out of it. We have a paddle wheel in the system which will measure the amount of water flow and then inject the, the foam at the percentage that we have set. So um, when we're using class A foam, we inject at uh, 0.1 to 1% and typically with aspirated foam, um, non-CAFs, we use it at a half a percent and for compressed air foam we use it at three tenths of a percent. So there's been some studies over the years uh, comparing plain water with class A foam and uh, in Salem, Connecticut uh, there was a study that was done and, and basically what it showed that they measured the amount of time and the amount of flow that it would take to take the temperature in the room from 900 degrees down to roughly 212 degrees and the addition of Class A foam basically because of the surface tension breaking of the water and increasing the surface area of the water uh, was able to bring that temperature down twice as fast as plain water. Um, these tests were also duplicated in a test in Palmdale, California and uh, they got similar results there where uh, the, again the, the, the amount of flow and the time that it took was about twice as effective with Class A foam compared to plain water. So. So now you can follow me outside and we'll go out to the pump panel and we'll show you how the foam system works and how it operates. 
Okay, now we're out at the pump panel to talk about our operation of our foam systems. All of our Aquas 1.5, 3s, and 6 utilize what we call an OIT or operation interface terminal. Um, these can be set up where as soon as my pump en is engaged, uh, the on light is on and it's ready to go. So any one of my foam capable discharges, we're going to pull those off the truck, start flowing water. It will measure the amount of water flow and then based on the percentage of foam that we have this set up at, it will uh, introduce that, that percentage of foam. Um, on this apparatus, we only have an A tank. If we did have an apparatus that's got an A and B tank, if we switched over to the B tank with the AB selector, this system would go to B and then I'd only be able to use it in one, three, and six percent. In the A foam, our percentage, uh, we go to the preset, which is at three tenths of one percent. Um, this can be set up in any default we, with you want. With this apparatus, we use CAFs, so it defaults at three tenths of a percent. Um, if I wanted to use uh, aspirated foam, we could set that up at five tenths, but it is fully adjustable, again, from 0.1 all the way up to one percent. Um, so again, as I flow those discharges, I can adjust the uh, foam percentage. Next thing that I can do is I can check my total water so I can keep track of that. Uh, total water and total foam are cleared out as soon as the apparatus is power cycled, but I can also check total foam. If I want to stay on any one of these, uh, the percent total water or total foam, I can hold this in for five seconds at that point and it'll stay at that position. Otherwise, after a five second timeout, it'll go back to water flow where it defaults at. So uh, total foam is kept in tenths of a gallon. Uh, again, I can know this for my records if I want to keep track of how much foam I've used. Um, I want to write that down before I power cycle it because it will zero it back at that point. For flushing out the system when we get done, uh, it's as easy as turning off the foam system. So I, I turn off the foam system and at this point I would radio out to the nozzle and say, Nozzle, I've, uh, uh, I'm flushing it out. Let me know when you got clear water. So you can see in the video here, um, we now have clear water. I'm going to shut it off. It's going to let the engine know that we've got clear water and now we can purge the air line out. So when it comes to uh, maintenance of the system, um, relatively low maintenance. Uh, my department, we always refill our Class A foam tank when we get done with the call. Um, again, if I record how much we use, we know how much we got to put in the tank. We either can crawl on top of the truck and pour it in, or we do have a, a system what's called the foam fill so that we can take it from the buckets, pump it into the foam tank, which keeps us from crawling on top of the apparatus. Um, the other maintenance thing, once a year, uh, usually when we do maintenance to the pump and the rest of the apparatus, we will check the oil level on the foam pump. It's got a sight glass and also a dipstick so we can check the oil level, make sure it's adequate, make sure it's clear, we don't have any problems with any seals. Uh, the biggest thing with these are, are uh, using them, um, the Class A system, because we do use foam and calves on, on uh, the majority of our calls, uh, we do use the system enough. So we leave Class A foam in it and we're fine with that. We don't have to flush out the foam pump itself. Uh, just like anything else on the apparatus, the, the hardest thing on them is lack of use. Uh, so exercising it and do using it for training and our uh, 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 fires is going to keep it keep it working for us. And it also makes sure that it works every time so that it's ready when we do have the fire. Um, also at watersco.com you can uh, download any of the specifics on our foam system, on our aqua systems, and also check out uh, Waters University and the educational uh, things that we have going on at Waters. So thanks for joining us today and have a great day.